What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video on my channel. My name is Dion and you're watching Reptiliatus. Friends, today we are going to be doing a really interesting video that focuses on enrichment. If you guys are new to my channel, it's time for me to share with you that enrichment is something I focus on a lot here. I don't find it to be something that is extra. I feel that it is essential as part of the care that we implement into keeping our animals. You don't get to say, Ah, oh, you know, if you can, try and offer enrichment to your pet. No, the animal should be stimulated, should have opportunity to exercise its brain. It should be challenged in healthy ways. And there's so many ways that we can do that, and so many of them are so easy. It can be as easy as offering a variety of food to your animal that just will engage their various senses. Matter of scent, taste, sight, feel. That's really important too. We have exercise exercise what else we have puzzles and things and and again it's all about engaging the brain imagine being a lizard for example sitting in an enclosure where nothing changes you're fed your peas and carrots which let's say is just crickets or meal replacement diet that would kind of suck over time sure your needs are being met but there needs to be more mental stimulus maybe you're putting a different branch maybe you're rearranging the enclosure suddenly everything smells new and fresh these are all forms of enrichment and people might regard them as very simple things but no I'm sure they would mean a lot to the animal. So in today's video we're gonna focus on one form of enrichment which is variation of diet and today we're gonna be focusing on quail eggs in particular for my green tree monitors which is the Varanus persinus. We have Sabzi, my female, and Basil which is my male and we're going to be offering them quail eggs to see how they respond to them. These food items are actually very healthy and they offer an alternative to live insect prey or rodents that is healthy and contains an assortment of different nutritious value that the animals can benefit from. So let's go over what some of those things are. Before we do that, I wanna quickly mention again, my name is Dion. I make videos about specialty pets such as reptiles, amphibians, and different kinds of cool invertebrates. So if that's something you're interested in learning about, definitely consider subscribing down below and then dinging that little notification bell afterwards so you don't miss any of my future content. I post videos regularly. I do my best to do so every Tuesday and Friday. Friday. Welcome back to Dijon's Kitchen everybody. Today we are going to be talking about how to cook the quail eggs for the monitor lizard. Not how to make the hamburger. I would like to buy a hamburger. All jokes aside, welcome back everybody. It's time to roll up my sleeves because we are going to be discussing two ways you can prepare your quail eggs to be consumed by your pets. The first way is incredibly simple. All you need to do is get your quail eggs, of course, crack them into a ceramic bowl that is microwave safe, and once you've done that, what you're going to do is take a fork and stir it up, kind of whisk it up with a fork, and you'll want to grab a second fork afterwards and use both forks to peel apart all the shell because you want to leave that in there. It's a lot of good calcium for the animal to consume as well. It's a lot easier to break apart the shell using the two forks like this than it is to just use one fork. Now all you need to do is place this in the microwave, set it to 20 seconds, and you'll be left with a quail egg omelette. Preparing the egg this way is a great way to keep from having a mess because you're left with one solid food item. I do like to tear it up into little chunks to make it more easier for the animals to just pick at individual pieces as they eat the whole mass. But yeah, it's that straightforward. All you need to do now is let it cool down of course, put it into a feeding dish, and well, let's see what the monitor lizards think of the egg we've prepared for them. Hey Sabzi! Guys, this is my female tree monitor Sabzi. And I'm telling you right now, knowing her, she's gonna love these eggs. Let's have a look. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh boy, there we go. She took a huge piece there. Now she's just gonna use some of the hardscape in the enclosure to position it properly so she can swallow it. And uh, I'm pretty certain she's gonna want a lot more after this. And as you can see, she's eating the shell as well as the egg and that is going to provide her with a great source of calcium. Quail eggs are an excellent source of protein, vitamin A, 
vitamin B12, iron, selenium, riboflavin, and choline, which are essential in maintaining body health. Selenium and riboflavin are important nutrients that help your body break down the food you eat and turn it into energy that it can use. One of the things you'll notice Sabzi doing is she'll turn her head side to side and twist her neck. What she's actually doing there is facilitating the ingestion of the food that is in her mouth, into her throat, and then into her stomach. It's kind of like if you can imagine a snake pushing food down its body. So that's really the same process, that's what she's doing as well. Well friends, I'd say the cooked eggs were a hit for Sabzi. Let's see how Basil likes them. Well guys, it's actually been quite some time since you've seen Basil here. In a few months time, we've made some decent progress with this guy. He also really likes super worms, which is interesting. Come on, he was having a nap. I mean, he's still kind of shy. Fortunately, he's no sabzy still. Now it's time to see what Basil makes of the quail egg in a cooked form. Let's offer him a little bit and see if we can slowly lure him up to the dish to help himself freely and see how much he'll eat. Come on buddy boy, you got it, keep coming, keep coming. There's a full dish of this good stuff for you here, that's right. Get over here. Hey, that's what we love to see. Some bravery from Basil. Grab that. Oh my goodness, look at the difference. He just takes it all back. He's got a ravenous appetite. It's interesting to see the difference between him and Sabzi. <laughs> that's a happy boy. Okay, so the second way we can prepare these eggs is simply by taking one of them and cracking them into the dish and offering it raw. Now, you wouldn't need to crack it if the animal is large enough to consume the egg intact or break it in their mouth, but my monitors aren't quite big enough yet, so I'm going to break apart the egg and see what Sabzi makes of it just like this. For today's question of the day, I'd like to ask you all what you think are essential forms of enrichment that you can provide to your pet reptiles and amphibians. I would love to see your suggestions down below and who knows, maybe it's something I hadn't considered that I can implement into my care. Let me know, I'd love to see your ideas and as always, I'll try and give your comment a heart and then we can also engage in a little bit of a conversation. Thank you. Now I do feel it's worth mentioning that raw eggs are a little bit messier than if they were cooked. Here you go, look at that. Well guys, I don't know about you, but I'd say we're off to a great start here. Samzi is enjoying this raw quail egg. And to be honest, I like that she has to kind of figure out how to ingest the shells as bigger pieces. I did break them up before, but this is kind of interesting to observe. Another one of the great features of offering raw eggs to your monitor lizards, for example, is that they're so receptive to eating this, you can usually coat prey that they're not normally interested in eating with it and they'll eat it. It's one of the ways that a lot of monitor keepers get their varanids to consume different types of insects that they wouldn't normally want to eat. For example, Sabzi will not touch superworms, but when I dip them in egg, she goes nuts for them. Well friends, 
there you have it. I'd say that was a major success. The monitors had a feast. Friends, before we end our video, I want to take a quick moment here to thank my two newest patrons over on Patreon. We have Bobby and Cassandra. Thank you so much for your support. You guys are amazing. And for as little as $2 a month, you can also join my Patreon page to unlock all sorts of exclusive content, sneak peeks on different projects, different animals and videos coming up, one-on-one -on -one chats with me. If you want to have a direct line of communication, that's the place to do it. For more information, Check out the link down below and thank you for your consideration and time. Uh, is, is the seat taken? No? What am I supposed to say again? Can you tell me in the back? Um, uh, thank you so much for watching everybody. Is that good though? Just remind them about next oh, video. Oh, oops, I forgot. Uh, un instant, un instant. Uh, Qu'est-ce que c'est le mot pour vendredi? Non, 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 en anglais, naturellement. Ah bon, uh, uh, ok, yes, uh, see you on Friday. Actually, Diane will see you then, I will not be there. If you want to see more content pertaining to uh, three monitors, you can watch the playlist up above. It is a good playlist, you can learn about Sabzi and Basile. It is very nice. Take care, see you later, bye bye.